Hello everyone, welcome to Techie Pocket. First, I just want to say sorry for all the background white noise, that's just an AC. Anyways, today I'll be seeing if this old Optiplex GX620 is at least fit for some casual surfing. If you've been watching my channel lately, you should have noticed that I started the series Optiplex, where I'll be seeing what I can all do with this GX620. Okay, so first off, I will be testing this with Edge, IE11, Firefox, and lastly Chrome, just to make sure you all finish the video. Okay, so browsing with Edge was noticeably slower than my usual PC, but it was not too bad. With one tab open, I could watch YouTube videos at 480 to 720p without glitches, and I could search Google and read email without any problems. Opening CNET did not, did not crash the PC either, so I guess Edge works. Next is IE11. With IE11, everything was the same as Edge, except for startup times. It took about three whole minutes to load after clicking on it. But besides that, it was exactly the same as Edge. Oh, and by the way, CNET did not crash at this time either, so I guess IE11 is a winner also. Next is Flarefix. Opening Firefox revved up the CPU fans and was noticeably loud. And also noticeably a bad browser for surfing. Because it was so slow, it could not even handle 480p without glitching up the computer. Searching Google was very, very slow and very, very glitchy. Scrolling was almost impossible, and to tell you the truth, CNET crashed the PC. So, I guess Firefox is just a bad browser. Lastly is Chrome. First of all, it comes second when compared to Edge's boot times. But, searching Google was fine, which makes sense, and CNET did not crash the PC. With YouTube, I could not go for 480p, however, but searching Google, browsing Wikipedia, and everything else was fine. So, the answer to this video, I would say, is the best way to surf is with Edge. But if you hate Edge, use Chrome. If you hate Chrome, then, well, tough luck, there's nothing you can do. So, that's my answer. But, remember, this PC only has one gigabyte of RAM. Its max supported RAM capacity, according to Dell, is four gigabytes. So if you upgrade it to four gigabytes, it's like 10 to $50 on eBay. And if you do that, I'm sure this PC will be perfect for browsing the internet with one to three, maybe five tabs. With that said, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for the rest of the series. Otherwise, give it a dislike. Make sure you join in the discussion below. Oh, and by the way, uh, I don't know what else to say. Bye, I'll see you later.